really need to try and get some more time on this car before we take it to the drag strip today. Last night I left this height sensor drying overnight with the epoxy that we used on the height sensor because I snapped it because I raged quit. That should be dry now. Our airline is fixed. I went over to the car last night with all the guys. Everything looks to be good. Hopefully we should be ready to go today. We're actually flying back home to San Diego so this car is going to be picked up from the drag strip and going on the trailer. Of course comes worse if something does go wrong which it shouldn't. I think the bad luck streak has ended. We can just throw this car on the trailer and send it home if it is being a complete asshole. But regardless, let's put this thing down and get right to it. All right, well I got the resin to dry without covering the hole. It is still a little bit cracked and it looks really janky and that's because it is really janky. So whether or not this actually holds up today or not shouldn't matter too much because we do have air back in the bag and it's holding pressure just fine. I left, I left this bag filled up overnight and we're actually looking fine. In the worst case scenario, if we end up losing that height sensor, it is fine. We can drive without height sensors. It makes no difference at all. It's just a luxury. So with that in mind, let's proceed and see if we can actually fix this. This height sensor is not gonna hold up. These pieces are too small and too fragile that the glue just did not do enough to hold it in place. What that means is no height sensors today. We're gonna be going just off of our eyes, which is fine. Wheels on, car is holding air, that's a good sign. Now I'm just cleaning up this garage because it literally became a absolute mess last night. I don't wanna leave Adam with all that. I don't know exactly where everything goes back, but I'm doing my best to figure out where everything goes. Now I think we're ready for the drag. Kinda. Maybe. I hope so. It's drag day, baby, and I got good news. We drove here and we drove to breakfast and air is holding up just fine, which means we fixed it. That's a solid move. Hopefully everything stays good for today, but I have faith in her. We got Adam's 335. We got Chris's Miata, Tommy's Miata, Taylor's Miata. Well, Cletus has the auction Corvette, and then I think the Clickbait Patrol Crown Vic is actually broken, so we're not gonna have that today. But I'm gonna be curious to see how this does. Right now in 91, we're only making 440, uh, which is way under potential what we had in New Zealand, which was close to 575. So really today, I'm just gonna go out there and have fun, and I'm curious to get better with this gearbox because this FD gearbox is, I don't know if describing it as being slow or old is the best way, but it's a really slow trans. You can't just like throw it in like an S2 housing gearbox, my BRZ gearbox. You have to like go to neutral and then throw it in. I'm curious to see what it puts down. I'm thinking like maybe high 12s on 91. That thing sounds scary. As you guys know, drag racing isn't anything that I've done before. I have drag raced before, but back in San Diego, we only have an eighth mile, and this is a quarter mile. I have no idea what my quarter mile time is gonna be. I'm a guessing 12s. My transmission I know is fine. What I cannot do is do a hard first gear like clutch dump. The diff in the FD is like glass. And the saying goes, as long as you're moving, you can do whatever you want. But a dig in that diff will explode. So I think pretty much all of us here, all of our cars are pretty much under that same circumstance. So I think we're gonna be doing some like slight rolling passes and we're gonna like start the timer as we roll by. But before we get out on track, I wanted to kind of see it. I want to get a little lay of the land. Just be a yeah, I just want to make sure there's no you know, sudden turns. Or I heard there's a couple turns and dips. And... There goes Taylor. All right, so we're going to get it going here. We'll probably go easy this, on the diff. I'm going to say a 13.8. I'll accept that as a first pass. Okay. I'm a little, yeah. Don't we'll suck. see. Oh, don't suck. We'll see. We'll see. It's my first one. <laughs> Let's go! That was a pretty good launch. I can't dump the clutch. 
much or anything, but wow, that was actually like, that was actually like really fun. <laughs> you ready to ride them? Let's do Let's it. Let's film real fast. All right, so here he is. Are you ready for this? I'd be in a Supra and Taylor Ray's car. Really? If I lose, I'm up in my booth. All right, let's do it. Let's get it. All right, we got SR Miata, and then this bitchin' thing. He's doing good, he's yeah. doing really good. I think he's gonna get mopped up though by the Miata. Oh dude, the, the Miata's gonna kill him. Oh, I, I, I don't wanna say kill him, but it's gonna, do, it's gonna be a good race. <laughs> Give a thumbs up. <laughs> I need to be easy on this launch. TJ got 11, 1, yeah, 11, sorry, 13, 12, and Rundit got 13, 16. Wow. That was good. I need to perfect that launch more. I'm still having a little bit of like a half second delay. If I can get that launch better, I know I can get Chris. But damn, you gotta give it to that Miata, dude. That SR is fast. Yeah, dude. dude I, that was fucking awesome. That was a good race. I was like looking over my shoulder. We were like neck and yeah, neck. I see. I kept you pushing. You shipped. I pushed. It was literally dead. You want it? You want to go one more? I want to go one more. I want to set up my GoPro thing a little different. Okay. Because all I see is the front of my car. Okay. I want to get your car next to mine. Yeah. All right. So I'll do that and then we'll go again. Okay. Sick. All right. I really need to focus on this launch. Come on, boy. Show what the fuck keeps beating me. <laughs> this is it, man. SR20. I'm surprised. I was really nervous to race you, I'm not gonna lie. I thought I was gonna have to bring it up at least 5 psi. But you know what the beauty of this setup is? We can actually put another 5, 6 psi into it. Yeah, this ain't done. It's, it's this just, is just getting started. This is the road race setup. <laughs> Makes me wish I was tuned for E85 right now. If this car was making 570, literally a, an extra 130 horsepower would be so much fun. Today definitely opened up my eyes to drag. The reason why I don't ever go at home is because we only we only have an eighth mile, like I said, and it's at night and the line is literally super long and it's impossible to film. It's kind of different when we like rent out the whole entire track and we can do like whatever we want. It makes it a lot more fun. Definitely, definitely want to go back once it's tuned for E85.
god, he's so close. He has to go again. Flat, he comes out a little harder. That was good, Teach. That was good. We're proud of you. Proud of you, brother. Not not 12 9 8, though, so you're still fast. I, I guarantee, I guarantee a little bit harder lunch, 12 8. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here, so, uh, Jack said quit being a pussy. That's basically what it translates to, yes. DJ, you're so close. I want that 12 so bad. I want 12s, baby. I want 12s. Too much sauce. I thought he had it. The boost came on. Okay, that's what happened. Look at, how, look at how sticky this fucking place is. What happened last time? He, uh, he gassed it. He got a little too saucy for him when he was in boost, so he just couldn't handle it. Mm -hmm. Jim? Couldn't handle Jim it. Jim Dust. Okay? Dilly? Yes. I like that's that correct. one. Yeah, it's, there it is, yeah. She a bitch, though. She is. TJ, TJ, yeah. That was weak. <laughs> Six? I thought that we said it was. Huh? The car's got it. Twelve six. I think something malfunctioned. I think this thing's wrong. Dude, you did it. There it is. You did it. You did I mean, yeah. Yeah. Woo! All right, cue the the loud music. <laughs> all right, that's all. I was a little slow going into fourth gear. I was a little slow. I don't know if that costed me the twelve. That was fucking awesome! Woo! TJ! Dude! So close! 13001. I was a little slow from third to fourth. I gotta go one more time. I have to break it. Okay, yeah, you know you did amazing. You did Fuck you, what? 12-6. <laughs> 12-6? Yeah, we couldn't believe it. We're like, nah, no, that's slow. And then all of a sudden 12-6. What? Dude, I'm so proud of you. That's so badass. Now you should race Rudnick again. Fuck, dude. <laughs> Oh, that was awesome. Dude, yeah. that's so sick. You killed it. Oh, nice work, brother. Thank you. Got him. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, FD's all loaded up. Oh, yep. Oh, yep. yep. Oh, wait. Back to the dumpster. Where's your car? Oh, oh yeah. Not on the trailer with mine, like I should have been. <laughs> We're loading that up now. It is heading off. We head off to the airport in an hour and a half or so. Dutt is flying with me this time. I don't need to fly home alone fly anymore. Partners, baby. And I'm feeling. Old.